Without rockets, and with today's technology, space travel just would not be possible. But have you ever wondered how rockets really work? In this explainer video, I'll go over the concept of thrust. Thrust is a force which moves the rocket through the air and through space. Thrust is generated by the propulsion system of the rocket through the application of Newton's third law of motion, which states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In a propulsion system, the engine does work on either a fluid or a gas. The acceleration of this fluid or gas out of the nozzle is what creates the force we call thrust, which will propel the rocket in the direction that we need it to go. There are two main types of rockets used today. We have the solid rocket and the liquid rocket. Solid rocket boosters, as shown here, have a solid chemical propellant and once they start, they don't stop until they are spent and ejected from the spacecraft. On the other hand, a liquid propellant comes in two tanks. One has oxygen and one has hydrogen. And you can throttle this as necessary in real time. In this clip here, we're watching the Discovery Space Shuttle take off. And you will notice that it has three main rockets. There's one in the center, and that's liquid and then they have the two solid rocket boosters on each side. So the solid rocket boosters will be ejected after they have expelled their propellant and then the main tank in the middle will continue to burn. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. So here you can see the two solid rocket boosters that have already separated from the main spacecraft. They've done their job, they've done the heavy work of getting it off, and they're now they're no longer needed. So all rockets work in basically the same way, by accelerating a working fluid. And you can have a rocket made out of a balloon, and you can use air as the working fluid. And these are great for toy cars and whatnot, but they don't produce a lot of thrust because the mass of the air is quite low. So mainly what we're talking about in this video are chemical thrust rockets. And the propellant forced through the nozzle is what produces the thrust in the opposite direction. And so to propel a rocket into space, we have to lift off both the rocket and the spacecraft itself, so these are very big and powerful. In space travel, rockets are used not just for liftoff, but also for attitude correction and control. So they can have small rockets that produce just a little bit of thrust to do fine-tuning adjustments. So not only do rockets provide thrust when we're doing liftoff, you can also use that same thrust to slow the spacecraft down when needed. T minus 10, 9, 8, go for main engine start, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time.